here's a fun thing I learned today. Did you know that a leap year doesn't always occur every four years? Sometimes there's eight years between them. Let me explain. The actual length of a year is 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 46 seconds. This is rounded up to 365 days and 6 hours, meaning that over a period of 4 years, we have actually added a whole extra day, hence the leap day on the 29th of February. However, due to the rounding which creates the leap year, every 4 years we've also added roughly 45 minutes out of nowhere. While this doesn't mean much in our day to day, over a 100 year period, that equals about 3 quarters of a day. So to avoid drastically changing the seasonal alignment of our calendar, we do not add the leap day if the year is divisible by 100. For example, 1900 wasn't a leap year and 2100 won't be. Now you might be thinking, but 2000 was a leap year? And you'd be right, 2400 will be a leap year too, because after removing the extra 3 quarters of a day which we made up, there's still one quarter of a true day remaining, meaning every 400 years we do need a leap day. Therefore, a leap occurs every 4 years, but if the year is divisible by 100 and not divisible by 400, the leap year is skipped. You might need to watch this video a few times to get it. Subscribe to find out more fun things I've learned.